Welcome back to Never Shut Up. It's your boy, Marcel Swally. I'm going to talk about making weight. And right now, I'm not poolside Cabo ready. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm not fat either. So I've been both ways, man. I've been ready with a six pack. You know, you wake up in the morning, you're like, <laughs> about to hurdle and about to go downstairs and just sit there. You know, you get that perfect angle on that sun chair, that perfect ab flex angle. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I, yeah, I'll take a double. Oh, thank you so much. 1627. Yes. P8 1620. You know, you sit back, back, back. I remember one time I was in Miami and I ain't gonna lie. I saw Reggie Bush there and um, he walked by and this is like when he was dating Kim Kardashian, I guess because it was like really a thing. Not just Reggie Bush or NFL players like this extra level of like fame to him and this sucker was walking around with a six pack. And I was like dog uh, flag on the play. <laughs> I thought I had some, you know, big boys, big boys six pack look different right then with his and I was like dog. Put a shirt on, man. Ain't gonna be no girls left for us. So that was a funny time. But let's talk about what Ryan Garcia and Israel said about them when they wanted to look their best or just had to make weight to perform. Check it out. Izzy said he made weight by doing this. I, I, I busted a nut to make weight. <laughs> um, no, I've never done that. The craziest thing I ever did was probably my uncle. He shaved my every hair I had on my body. So I had a full set of hair and he just shaved it bald, shaved my arms bald, everything really? you could think about bald. And I did actually make weight. I was like two ounces off and uh, that helped me make weight. Man, all right, now they went all the way there. <laughs> Getting bucket naked and then just when you were bucket naked, had to let it go. Ah. Release the hounds, right? <laughs> Hilarious. Um, I don't have those type of stories because I'm going to talk in a greater extreme than that. I'm going to take y'all inside the locker room. I'm going to take y'all inside some of the war stories that happen around making weight. Because the NFL, they don't come in looking at anybody saying you got to be a certain weight. It's only when it's problematic, right? Or it's just excessive. So if they see somebody or they're like, uh, losing five, 10 pounds wouldn't hurt your game. All of a sudden you see a guy with a weight clause or if a guy's just excessively overweight, like dog, nobody should be this weight. You got the weight clause as well. Now, what does that mean? Your ass got to weigh every morning and every afternoon after practice. What does that mean? If you don't make that weight that you guys have agreed upon, then you're going to have to come earlier than everybody else and get some extra cardio. What does that mean? Oh, to help yourself out, you will go to extremes to make sure you make weight. Let's talk about it. I've seen guys have to get there early, run around for miles, big plastic bags on, obviously, then get into the sauna, get into the steam room, and then have to take these water pills. Now, I never took water pills, but I heard of them, and I don't even know what they look like. I think they were big, but some big water pills, right? And then it just all of a sudden just flushes you out. Like you just peeing and it's supposed to be boo-booing, just everything gone, right? You ain't nothing but skin and bones, right? You supposedly. And then they get on the scale. And it was nothing worse when you heard that scream. Dip! <laughs> Sucker did all that. And then fat boy Slim still too fat. <laughs> he got it. Woo! Now you gotta run before practice. During practice, obviously, after practice, and still got to try and make that weight. Oh, did I forget the craziest part? They find your ass, right? Money. Whew. They are taking your money away to incentivize you to meet that number. Okay. So here's the craziest story I ever witnessed with my own eyes. We had a teammate by the name of Million. And you know, I got to protect the guilty. This dude, whoo, he got big, 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 And there were rumors that he was north of 400 pounds. And I was like, dog, ain't no way he 400. He came in like 340, 350. I know he liked to smoke the blacks like everybody else did. And he was pounding some of that yak. But damn, 400? That, you don't need to be 400 playing football. That ain't gonna work, right? All of a sudden, you lose your quickness and speed. Something is not smart. And then he had to weigh one morning. And I remember walking by and I was like, let me see how much you weigh. And it was weird because it was kind of protected because one, you're finding someone if they're over the weight and two, you don't want to just be out in the do. Let him do his own stuff if he wants the world to know, right? So, all right. But one time walking by and big was on the scale and it said, I am not lying, y'all. 400 
and 19 pounds. <laughs> I was like, you're going broke, bro. <laughs> you never make weight. What the hell is your number you're supposed to make? And I think it was like 370, something like that. God dang. Woo! Yeah, uh, you fast forward. I had to play against him. He switched teams the next year. He goes to the other team and literally in the heat, we're about to go at it. He passed out literally and I knew why he passed out why everybody else was kind of proud like he on them water pills and that stuff again to try and lose his weight even though he lost a lot of weight. Maybe he went too far. Here's my personal story with it growing up because growing up probably ain't pop Warner uh, at eight years old. We had weight limits and I think our first one was like 85 pounds and I was 87. Now, if you don't want to get under 85, move up. Be with the older kids. Now, when you're young, when you're eight, playing with a 10-year-old, oh, that's like playing with a grown man. He a whole different animal. So I was like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to play with the 10-year-olds. I'm going to stay down here at eight. Mama and daddy and coach was like, all right, got to lose two pounds. You know what that meant for an eight-year-old? Let me tell you what I did. I put on the hefty bags, was running around the neighborhood, running before practice, young NFL style, right? Then, not only did I do that, but I also had to do, oh, I can't even say it, an enema every night before the game. Y'all know what an enema is? Yeah, if you don't, Google it and then don't look at the picture. Yeah, I had to get the tube. Yes, in the hot water. Oh, and I had to have broiled fish. Broiled bottom of the oven fish with no skin and a salad every day until I made weight. That's why I hate fish right now. Eight years old, that's what I had to do to lose two damn pounds, and I did it. But hey, coach said it was worth it. I would score five touchdowns every game. He said, give that boy some more broiled fish. Hey, shoot, that stuff is working. 